Hey, I just uh, I've got this 30 foot uh, Dorado boat up to my bay. We're going to be switching out the uh, hydraulic tabs that he has on this with new electric Bennett tabs. So I've got to remove the old tabs first. And upon removing these old tabs, I noticed the curvature of the hull had a real good curve to it. So these tabs that were on this boat could not have been functioning properly because they were binding the hinge, hinge point. It's going to keep it from going up and down like it should. It's like having a bent door hinge. It's not going to work. Once I discovered that we had a curved hull, I got with the fiberglass department. He came over, we, we discussed it, I showed it to Brian, we discussed it, and we figured we had a thick enough glass there that we could actually grind it instead of trying to make two wedges for each side of the tab to get a straight tab. That way these new electric tabs will function properly. So now I gotta get the guys over here in the glass shop to fill all my old holes where the old tabs were and also where the hydraulic line ran through the transom. The uh, fiberglass guys uh, did a real good job repairing the transom of this boat so I can move forward on with my installation. So I'm gonna get these tabs up, mark, mark my holes, I'm gonna pre-drill them. I'm gonna uh, bed them with 5200. I'm gonna run my screws in. Now I can attach my actuators to the tab and figure out my height that I'm gonna to need to uh, drill my top holes and get the top of the actuator mounted. Uh, you figure that out with a straight edge. What I usually do is lay it along the bottom of the boat. On the, the trailing edge of the tap, I'm gonna raise up 3 eighths of an inch for my straight edge. And then I'm gonna mark the transom. I'm gonna drill my holes, run my wire through, bed that 5200. And I'm gonna run my screws in. We're done, we're ready to move on to uh, running the uh, wiring up to the console. Well, the advantages of having an electric tab is just the functionality of them. These electric tabs, you respond almost instantly. Easier to install, you've just got two wires going to each tab that runs up to the switch panel. Well, it's going to be a unique boat, that's for sure, because it was an I.O. boat. Now, they fixed it, they closed in the transom. It's actually going to have an outboard engine on it now. The hull is kind of rounded, sort of not really a planing and not really a displacement hull. It's like a combination of both. So I'm real curious to see how these trim tabs are really gonna function on this boat once we get it completed.